Today's headline is Five Men in an Octopus. The subheadline says, A Desperate Fight with a Sea Monster Near the Golden Gate. This article originally came from the San Francisco Examiner. It says, The largest octopus ever caught in the vicinity of the Golden Gate was brought in by Nicholas Panay and his crew of four men in the fishing boat Alexandria. They had been fishing near the Duxbury Reef since last Monday morning, and they were meeting with fair success. On Thursday, they hooked this monster, and a battle was the result. Gustav Antani was pulling in the long line with its many hooks, while his companions were taking out the fish and rebaiting the hooks. Suddenly, there came a strong sullen pull at the line, and the fishermen thought it had become entangled in the rocks of the reef. The hooks used by the fishermen are yielding and easily bent, so that they can be dislodged should they become caught and Gustav gave a pull on the line to loosen it. It gave way, but there was a dead weight on it, and the astonished fisherman began taking in the line slowly, wondering what made it drag so heavily. He soon discovered a long arm shoot up from the surface of the ocean, a few feet away from the boat, and others soon followed it. The water seemed full of the terrible snake-like limbs, and the fisherman knew they had an octopus to deal with. The tentacles of the sea monster reached higher than the mass of their little vessel as it floundered about in the water, endeavoring seemingly to reach out for its captors. The sea was lashed into foam, and the little boat rocked and careened in the swirl, and friend every moment to lose its terrified occupants into the arms of the monster. Gustav forgot all about his line. He let it go and reached for a hatchet with which to defend himself. The line paid out a few yards, and the octopus sank, but the myriad of hooks caught on the gunwale of the craft as they flew over and the fish was held. The capture of such a fish is lucrative, and the fishermen determined to add it to their boatload. Chinamen are very fond of the tentacles, and they eagerly purchase all that are caught. Gustav hauled again on the line, and for a few moments he wished that he had cut it instead. As the octopus was drawn near, it suddenly opened out its long arms and reached for the fishermen. One of its tentacles fell across the deck of the boat, and its suckers gained a good hold. Others went around the keel, and almost instantly it had the boat in its embrace. A few well-directed blows of a hatchet freed the boat from immediate danger, and several feet of one of the long feelers lay on the deck. Nicholas Panay stood ready with a sharp boat hook to get the death blow should the chance occur. Fishermen who have battled with this fish say the most vital spot in its ill-shapen body is just behind and between the eyes. The smallest weapon thrust into that spot will end the life of the most formidable of the sea horrors. Their long circle-like arms can be chopped off inch by inch without producing any apparent effect, and the advantage gained by the fishermen is small. So far in the battle, the octopus had kept under the boat, and the fishermen had been unable to get in the death blow. After a feeler had been chopped off, the octopus somewhat released his hold, and the strong pull on the line by Gustav hauled the body of the fish up on that side of the boat. Still the vital spot could not be reached, Slowly, all the remaining tentacles of the creature began to encircle the boat, and the position of the fishermen became serious. An extra boat hook was reached over the side, and it caught in the flesh of the octopus. A long, hard, steady pull brought the vital spot near the surface, and with a swift blow, the weapon wielded by Pinet was plunged deep between the eyes of the terror of the seas. Slowly, the dreadful tentacles unfolded, and the dreaded fish relaxed his hold upon the boat. It took all hands to haul him on board, and they exultingly exhibited their capture at the fisherman's market. The huge fish was hoisted to the roof of the market, fully thirty feet high, and its long arms swept the floor. It had not been hanging long before a crowd of Chinamen were around it, and they soon struck a bargain with the plucky fisherman and carried it off. This story came from the great state of New York, being reported in The Sun of September 2nd, 1894. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, then remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.